Live from the part of Austin that has a tram tour of vasectomy scars, camouflage towers, and a juiced Mark McGrath, it's going to be a great night. Now, here are two guys whose voices have aged to their nuts and have been hoarding Adidas shoes. It's Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Come, come here, come here, you, you old scamp. Hey, listen, all right, all right, all right. Let's talk about Adidas. What were you thinking there? The three stripes. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, they remind you of the three important things. Be, poop, come. <laughs> okay, right. That's, well, look, uh, I, we've enjoyed sponsoring you for a long time. Oh, yeah. But it's a time for us to be a little more expansive because... Uh, Expand the tent, do you well, think? Well, uh, 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 not everybody... Gonna need a big tent with all those three stripes. Not everybody can ejaculate sperm. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, are you saying okay or are you asking me what in Spanish? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Yeah. No, uh, no, no. I'm asking you what in Spanish. Uh. Well. Well. Listen. We to we, comically heighten how how what we. Not everybody can ejaculate sperm. That's true. And we want to. We want to. We want to unpack that the, for me. Well. <clears throat> people have money. Sure. And we, the Adidas Corporation, uh-huh. want all of their money. Yes. The three pillars. And is, I want that for you. Uh, yes. Uh, I, I mean, yeah. Uh, hooray. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 fire Gertrude. She was annoyed with Justin. Uh, okay. So the important thing is, uh, 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 what, were the, what were the three stripes again? P. Yes. P, like urine. Yep. 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 Yeah. yeah. Poop. Yep. Poo poo. Yep, comes out of your butt. <laughs> yep. Come. Okay. Ejaculate. Right. So here's what we're thinking. Yeah. Expand the brand. Expand the brand. Expand. Fourth stripe. Uh, no. Maybe just how re- many stripes are we talking? Like, Five, six. Maybe, Baker's dozen. Maybe we replace the cum stripe. What? Hear me out. Okay. With a fart stripe. Solids, liquids, gas. Everybody poops. Everybody farts, everybody pees, and you win, I win, Adidas makes all the money, right? <sighs> Doug Adidas, <laughs> <laughs> ever since we went to Brandeis together, <laughs> yeah, I never thought it would come to this moment. <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. I take our vow very seriously. I remember we held up a shot, uh, a flaming shot of tequila, yeah. and, and we both put it out properly and then drank it without burning our faces. Yeah. And we both said, what did we both say? We both said, let's, let's make, make everybody's, everybody's money. money. Right? Right? Yeah, right? Yes. That's right, brother. That's, That's right. It. That's <laughs> it. Right. Okay. What? What's my name? <laughs> oh, Jimothy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jimothy, uh, or... Yeah, What's yeah. my last name? Daniels. <laughs> and that's how we've been friends for so many years. Yeah, it's because I remember what your you name, don't and you know... remember mine. Yeah, Doug Adidas. I yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that was a test. Yeah. <laughs> Just making <laughs> sure it's been a long time. Uh, it's a good thing I have a name and convention in improv. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what I never told you, uh oh, is that Daniels is not our family name. Oh, no, well. Daniels was what the Americans called us when we came to Ellis Island. Damn it! No, hmm. my real name. Is Jimothy Jism of the family Jism? We invented cum. We continue to make cum, and we'll be coming long after all of you are buried. Well, shoot. <laughs> And then a meteor hit. <laughs> Welcome to Great Night, everybody! Hey! 
We got a great show for you tonight. Martha Washington is here. <laughs> Martha Washington. Yeah, no. Mary Todd Lincoln. Hot yeah. as fuck. They're both singers. <laughs> They're opening for Lizzo. <laughs> Jimothy Jizzle. <laughs> uh, hey, Bryce, uh, what should we talk about? Our first topic. Evil meeting of the mind. Oh, yeah, Bryce, did you get my pictures? I got pictures from Brian. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. I, I had the moment, and I was like, hey, man, we got to make extra sure we get yeah. all of the pictures yeah. over there. Uh, uh, just to bring you guys up to speed, I think that um, every single party ever should require everybody to show up right. in costume and actually make a profound effort because... I, I ain't, it's been it's been decades since I've been to a Halloween party where everybody dressed up on purpose and actually brought it, and that's what I got to see Saturday night. What I found out is that there is a you know people's b- being into being in costume through your life goes through kind of waves yeah. where it's like when you're a kid, you're eight, you just you just really like Batman. You don't give a fuck if there's like a, a trash bag that has Batman on it. As long as you bought it from Toys R Us, you're like, yo, fuck yeah, I'm Batman now. Then you get to a certain point and you're like, no, it has to be the real outfit. And you get very, very particular. Then you get a little older and and now all of a sudden it's like, I don't know, I'm self-conscious. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to be a hobo, mom. I just want to walk around in my jeans and get candy. That's Whatever. a hobo. Yeah. <laughs> You have, you have a good a glory impression. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to. Oh, right, That's right, good. Right, no, no, right. you're good. So then, then you get like kind of into your teen years, and all of a sudden now showing off. You you know how to dress. And so what about costumes matter? Batman. Exactly. Yeah. Then it kind of goes down a little bit. Then all of a sudden you're in college. You're like, oh, now shit really really matters. Uh, uh, I thought after that, the dip that came after that really threw my like mid twenties into all of my 30s, that people were just like, eh, look, if you're really into costumes, if you're into cosplay, then obviously you're going to show up and everyone's going to fawn over you. But the baseline, the working class costume kind of falls off a cliff. And I thought it fallen off a cliff forever until this party. Yeah. Well, and, and, and uh, to be clear, I do think that there's a bit of a sorting mechanism, and I think our experience is a little bit colored by the fact that we went to Dragon Con and we saw the best of the best of cosplay at its height, and we're like, well, no, I can't compete with that. Why would I even try or whatever? Uh, but when it's, a, when, when it's an engagement at somebody's house, and, uh, and, and like, did, did you put out, uh, did you issue a press release saying that everybody no. had to bring it? No, no. No, and here's why. I don't think it's it's necessarily anybody's expectations or my expectation. I think it's just the demo. The people that came to the party were all in there, either mid thirties and above. Uh, they either had kids uh, of varying different ages, or were just people in their mid thirties and above. And guess what? People in their mid thirties and above, especially those that have kids, have in common. They don't fucking get out much. There's not a whole lot of parties. So if there is a costume Halloween party, everybody fucking brought it. They got a lot of time. They got more money. All of a sudden, everybody can show up in dope fucking costumes, and it ruled. So before we get to the full story of just how rad the party was and how long it raged into the night and the repercussions afterwards, uh, my journey sort of began. I was in the middle of playing um, uh, Marvel Snap, and... uh, uh, Bonnie had told oh. me two things. Oh. <laughs> Are you oh. all right? Are you all right? Oh, snap. I, I'm just saying. I mean, it's uh, just a... My buddy Steve Kovac is now, like, one of the guys on CNBC who just gives earnings information. So if you turn on CNBC, he's the, the very smart-looking man with glasses who's like... Uh, Activision reports are that the, they're down. Year, uh, why oh why twenty three percent up 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 up. And so he was doing a thing about mobile games and like how mobile games Apple had down revenue, uh, uh, Xbox had down revenue, Activision had down revenue on mobile games. And I just hit him back. They quit to play Snap, my man. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Because <laughs> in my mind, shit's true. Marvel Snap is the truth. 
There's no uh, joke here. Uh, uh, it's just me actually, saying actually, Marvel Snap fucking rules. Th there is a question that I bet Bryce knows the answer to. Uh, what software developer is in charge of that? Is that all Marvel Studios? Is that Disney? Second Dinner. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Uh, that is Ben Brode's company. No kidding. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, ben Brode of Hearthstone. Or is it frame, Second Lunch? Fame, fame. Uh, I think it's Second ugh. Dinner. Something it's like that. It's Second Meal. I it's, know it's Second Meal. Published through Newverse, which does a lot of big mobile games across the world. Oh, I guess maybe they they, they developed it. Second Dinner. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. People are saying Second Dinner. Uh, in, in I like the, a first dinner. Uh, but uh, uh, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Uh, point. Uh, that's point, how you keep that slim waist. <laughs> I mean, um. point of the story is is I'm I'm sitting there playing Marvel Snap, and all I know is that Bonnie's told me. Don't worry about a costume. I've got it all figured out. Yeah. And and like, oh my gosh, breath of fresh air thing. I don't have to worry about. Gonna play mm. me some Marvel Snap. Yep. Um, I'm all you know is, don't drop a non-reactive character after Iron Fist <laughs> because <laughs> otherwise you are wasting the fact that he gets bumped to another zone. That's that's where my head's at. Yeah. And I just earned the Gamora card, and uh, in walks Gamora. Yes. Uh, and I look up and I was like, oh. And it takes me one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand before I realize, no, that's Bonnie with green makeup on. And yes, she does uh, bear a passing resemblance to Gamora, but that is definitely a full on She-Hulk costume that she's wearing. <laughs> uh, 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 all, all, everything is tight. And, and oh, yeah, uh, uh, she, she's walking with her shoulders the way She-Hulk does. And she goes, ah. Huh? And I'm like, oh, wow. And she goes, and you'll just be Matt Murdock. And I was like, great. So where's my costume? And she's like, I don't know. Just put on some sunglasses. <laughs> Ooh. Had she told you before that she would have a costume for you? She told me not to worry about it. <laughs> she told me uh, <laughs> She told me that she had it figured out. Yeah. It sounds like she did have it figured out. <laughs> <laughs> and I, was like, I think she uh, had a completely valid only. solution for Brian Brushwood. <laughs> now, 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 keep in mind, Matt Murdock is uh, outside of his Daredevil persona. He's yeah. got a very particular set of red tinted circular uh, glasses. Sure. Would have been great if I had those. Didn't I have those? Uh, he's got a certain style and, and so on and so on. So um, uh, uh, Bonnie's like, well, I, mean, I figure something out. So uh, uh, suddenly I'm like in gig mode and thinking about like, how am I going to, I, I first of all, Google Matt Murdock. So I get a bunch of images. And uh, uh, one of the images that pops up is, you know, him in his lawyer outfit with a beat up looking face. Um, I, I don't know that that exactly happens in the show, but the promotional imagery there, you, yeah. you conflate the images and so on. Uh, and so I find, I find sunglasses. Uh, I don't have to put in contact lenses. I put on a suit and Bonnie's like, yeah, that's great. I'm like, no, no, it's not. So, so we race over here to HQ. I go looking for, for blood. I end up calling looking Jeff saying like, Hey, where's where's fake blood? He's like, ah, I don't know. And he comes up, and we try to find fake blood, and we're like, fuck, 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 there's no fake blood. And it's like, also, I need a, 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 a blind person's cane. Uh, also, I need to find out whether or not I'm being ableist. So I take a moment, and I Google. <laughs> <laughs> is being daredevil ableist? <laughs> and then uh, the general consensus is, no, you're just a fan of a superhuman who happens to be who blind. Who happens right? to be blind. Right, yeah. and so I'm like, oh, good, good. And then I realize, oh, shit, even if I am, my wife is in green face, so now we're, at the very least, we could go as two podcasters looking to be canceled. <laughs> this <laughs> makes, a, this makes a lot more sense because this is literally how you introduced yourself to oh, me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. That, that's what was going yeah. on upstairs. Uh, so so I, 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 I uh, tear apart a bunch of stuff. Bonnie finds some crystal light cherry that, that we mix with corn syrup, and I'm able to bloody up my face and put on sunglasses and carry around a, a, a collapsible a kind of tent pole thing to, to be a blind cane. And then, uh, and then we show up, and we were terrified that we we're going to show up late. We showed up before you showed up. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, no. I, well, I, I, oh, no, I, I, I know, I, because I had blind-enhanced auditory powers sure, yeah. that allowed me to hear your angelic car pass us. <laughs> you, were, you, were, you guys were among the first three couples to arrive, yes. Right, right. Uh, uh, so at any rate, uh, uh, once we got there, we tried to take a photo with a little bit of a uh, forced perspective photography, 
where I stood very far back from Bonnie. Uh, I, I don't know if we have that one, Bryce. Uh, we, we do, uh, and here it is. Yeah. <laughs> but, but basically, I'm tiny and she's gigantic. And yes. It was, it was great. Uh, that, that, that was our attempt to, to bring our A game. Uh, uh, and also, Bryce, I figured out the problem. You, you should have uh, uh, my, my, my photos in your inbox. You guys mm. looked like a million bucks, and that was really where I felt like, like the costume game had kind of started at a rollicking level uh, uh, because we had, uh, number one, we had our, our, our friends, well, I don't want to put their personal business out there, but uh, uh, if, if they did not show up in costume, uh, uh, it would nobody would have blamed them. They came in costume, uh, uh, and then you guys came looking like a million bucks. Uh, uh, Mike TV and and uh, his wife, yeah, like, uh, rolled in, and and they looked amazing. Like it was, it was just fantastic, and it only got better from there. I I will give shouts out. Or, like, I was on the lookout for Jedi because uh, I know Andrew Heaton had mentioned that he was going to be a Jedi. Yep. And I saw uh, one, <laughs> one Brett show up in a very, what I thought at first to be a poor attempt at a Jedi costume <laughs> until he explained, oh, no, 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 I'm not a Jedi. I'm just a moisture farmer. I'm a moisture <laughs> I'm farmer. I'm Owen Lars. Yes. Yes. And and I made sure to do it in a uh, dramatic fashion where uh, I revealed myself and I was like, I'm a moisture farmer. <laughs> and you're like, what? Uh, like, well, Heaton's coming. I know his outfit's going to be better than mine. Heaton's outfit was awesome. Yeah. Like, like he yes. had apparently bought like a pro level Jedi uh, costume. Which brings us <laughs> to a meeting of the minds. <laughs> <laughs> set, set the stage, if you will. It's Halloween. No, <laughs> uh, no we are. Uh, uh, we're all sitting outside my house, and uh, we got this nice little fire pit thingy. So everybody's having a good time, and then uh, all of a sudden, I realize in my Squid Game uh, uh, jumper that I'm in the middle of a conversation between the devil, <laughs> Jafar from Aladdin, and a Jedi. <laughs> Uh, and they are, and they are all discussing the issues of the day. And J the, the the Jafar in the picture is uh, a, a friend of ours from the neighborhood, and he's he's a, he's a real nice dude. But uh, you know, we're all in our cups. <laughs> we're all we're all shooting. We're all we're all shooting the breeze. Uh, and and at a certain point, there is a a back and forth that will forever hang in history. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> The uh, uh, J J Jafar is is doing what what to my mind is the most interesting thing you could do at a party, which is immediately jump to the deepest, most uh, fundamentally uh, uh, shaking questions to consider. Right. Yeah. Among them being, uh, he says out loud, what did the Empire do that was so bad? Uh, <laughs> immediately, no hesitation. Andrew Heaton, dressed as a Jedi, says, destroy a planet. <laughs> <laughs> Jafar. Well, <laughs> I mean, I guess it was definitely like 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 Saul Goodman defending the Empire. <laughs> like it was, it was definitely him. Look uh, how worn uh, out Andrew looks in this photo too. He's <laughs> uh, the the goodness in the force. It takes a lot of work. It was it was a, a fairly surreal and amazing moment. If you I have the very, chance very to, to be there, debate philosophy. Make sure everybody's in costume. That, yes. It would be so much better. Imagine if every TED Talk was a costume contest. That would be a million times better. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. It already uh, kind of is if you think about it. So uh, we we end up playing foosball. It was late <laughs> into the evening. Uh, almost everybody's gone. Yep. And the karaoke begins. Yep. Uh, and uh, then it's one o'clock. Mm-hmm. And then it's 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And then it's 2.30. Mm -hmm. And they were getting ready to leave. And, uh, <laughs> and Ashley asks me, so Matt Murdock, you able to walk that straight line? <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> damn, I, Ashley. I lean my head back. I put my <laughs> arms out. And uh, uh, I walk that straight line. And she says, yeah, you're not on the line at all. I look down. I'm not on the line at all. Call a lift. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bonnie and I get home. Turns out green paint takes a while to wash to off. To wash off. Fake blood. And, and suddenly it's, it's 3.30 in the morning. Yep. 
It's like, uh, let's, let's go on to bed. Uh, and uh, dogs start barking at 5 a.m. Of course. And uh, Wow. So that is a short porch. Short night. Short night. And uh, uh, both of us are exhausted. That's when we realize that the neighborhood spooktacular is happening. Where I've been picked to MC. <laughs> Uh, and I, all right, all I want to say <laughs> is in a group chat between the four of us, uh, the only text that came in from Bonnie with a bunch of cute pictures from the night before was Hulk smashed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, I get word that, uh, Hey, we know we got you emceeing. You've done it before. It'll be great. Uh, also last year, um, uh, uh, this this kid from high school did it, and uh, maybe the two of you could co-captain. And and at first I'm like, okay, uh, sure, I'll yeah, you know, I'll, I'll handle this, right? Uh, turns out both of us deeply hungover. <laughs> yeah, uh, I got to experience live action Cobra Kai <laughs> showing up with like sunglasses on, and this the bright eyed kid who's who was adorable and great. Uh, is, you know, I summon enough energy to get everybody through the parade. Like, hey, who are you? Wow, you're dressed as. Here's a joke about your costume. All right, all right. And then... Uh, so wait, it, what is the event? Uh, I, I, it was a, a bunch of trunk or treating, a, a costume contest, a pet costume trunk contest. Trunk or treating? Yeah, yeah, it's where everybody pulls their cars up. They all pop uh, open the trunk. Gotcha. And, and then, and, and you don't have to walk all the way house to house to house. You just go car to car to car. And uh, I think that's attributing to the obesity epidemic. I was going to say, it's a very lazy idea. I mean, it's very, lazy. It's very efficient. Mm, yeah. <laughs> and and it lazy, doesn't require you to decorate a whole house. Mm, yeah. Just the back, of your, car, the back sure. of your car. Right? Low effort. Yeah, sure, low effort. You yeah. know that thing you do, decorate your car? Yeah. I, uh, All the time. I, dude, I'm here for trunk or treating. It's You're a like, neighborhood okay. thing. Okay. It's uh, what the hood does, Bryce. Sure. Oh, I'm not. I'm not hood. We wouldn't understand. You're not hood official. Not hood enough. Yeah. Very quick. Trunk or treating. Very quick. Is that a thing? Did, did anybody else hear of trunk or treating? Yeah, that's right. a thing. Yeah. Trunk or treating. Have you guys not heard? I never heard of it. We, have you never heard of it? I just barely heard of it. Actually, like, ever heard of it yesterday? Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. I I feel like the name. I feel like it was called something else because I feel like the the the. You know, doing it out of the trunk. Booty snacking. Yeah. yeah there is <laughs> That's no what it used snacking. to be called. Yeah. No, it used to be... Uh, <laughs> booty... <the> hey! <laughs> you! Get into my car! <laughs> and it used to just be... Yeah, Eddie Money would... <laughs> would... Sing it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, but... Uh, it is Halloween! <laughs> Get into my car! Oh, There's treats! Get out of my... Wait, no, fuck the fuck up. It is Halloween. Did it, did it, did it. Hey, get your hands you, in these snacks. I, I got snacks in my car. <laughs> can, can I add to this for a second? Please. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Uh, I, I was very upset to have gathered the the uh, the candy. I I did all the things. We we carved the pumpkins, as you can see, and uh, well, I didn't, but uh, the, car <laughs> the pumpkins were carved. Yeah, and we were all ready for the kids to show up. Only two groups showed up. Really? Yeah, and so we had the and it's like we usually have a group groups that come through. Only two. So I was kind of complaining about it, and. Uh, an ingenue actress friend of mine from when I was president of a theater, <laughs> she she said, oh, well, she I made that complaint, and she said to me, well, you know, you didn't do what I did. And I was like, well, what did you do? She goes, well, I went, and I sat outside, and I, you know, said, no, here's candy. And I said, there's the problem. You, with you doing it, you're a lovely, sweet thing doing it. If I go out there and start offering candy out to cops, it, are there. It's just <laughs> woo, 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 so woo, she's woo. like, Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. So, uh, you had intended to uh, be a be a, a straight up baller at a Halloween this year. Oh, yeah, how did it go? I balled out. <laughs> 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 no, there is there is a godlike feeling that comes from having a group of children gather in front of you 
And I said, oh, here, take this candy. You, you all get the, the, the tiny candy. That's fine. Uh, uh, but there's a special challenge, and you get a special treat if you do it. And it's just roar like a dinosaur. Do your, do your impression yep. of a dinosaur. Uh, and then when you have a bunch of them, you have the group effects. You can just go, okay, here we go. One, two, three. Bunch of kids. Roar! Adorable in and of itself. That's just the primer. Oh, because then I go to the to to the to the chest where I have all the full candy bars, and I get to bring them out and scream in front of their parents, who are horrified by this. Uh, <laughs> full size candy bar. <laughs> so you ah! hold it back, <laughs> <laughs> screaming, screeching at the top of their lungs. All their hands are in the air, and then they're grabbing and they're, they're grabbing multiple. And I'm like, I don't give a shit. This is what true power is. <laughs> It was amazing. Uh, th- th- there was one costume, and I guess I guess I don't know. There's privacy issues. We shouldn't show the picture, but but there was one guy in the costume contest who uh, was dressed what I thought was the uh, uh, not the principal. I I don't know who, whatever the character in in Community is the the, the, the dean, dean of the, the college, dean, right? Yeah. So picture that, right? Mm-hmm. Wearing a sweater vest and everything, and and I go around. I'm like, and you're dressed as, and you're dressed as. Uh, and he and he immediately says, um, uh, "Oh no no no, you wouldn't get it." And I'm like, "Oh, try me. I already know that you're you know the dean. dressed as the dean from Community." And he says, uh, "Well, there's a show called What We Do with the Shadows." <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. He is not the energy vampire. Oh my god, I know he definitely was Colin Robinson, and it was definitely great. <laughs> and he was instantly my best friend. <laughs> it was good. Halloween. What a time that happened last week. Bryce, Bryce. next topic. Our next topic. Pay for verified challenge 2K22. (laughs) Now it's time for a really spooky story (laughs) in the beginning of November. How long have you been a blue check mark on Twitter, Brian? Uh, Long time members of the community will know that my whole scheme. Uh, Brett, did you ever hear the tale of how I got a blue check? No. I found out that the reason blue checks exist is to prevent people from impersonating you and so that you can conduct business in public as being a verified person. So I encouraged everyone in our community to create fake accounts of me (laughs) so I could loudly and repeatedly complain about all these fake accounts. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Three weeks later, somebody at Revision Three, uh, my producer, says, "Have you seen these fake accounts of you?" <laughs> and I said, uh, "Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> I'm sure they're well-meaning. They can't stop themselves." I'm like, well, I've got a friend at Twitter. Uh, uh, I had to hide my erection. Uh, and then, <laughs> yeah, next thing I know, I got a blue check. That was, uh, I think, 2009, 2010. Yeah. I mean, I applied online. <laughs> <laughs> that's it both of you yep. make more yeah. more so much more sense to me now it, it, it feels like feels like i worked harder it feels like i earned it and you you just got it for free yep yep i i mean i feel i feel like i i did use the j word though justin keep Jerks. going just this keep going jure Jala, Jup, 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 oh, oh, jingle bells, not yet. Jo- jolly time, yo! I would like a check mark. <laughs> no, governor, <laughs> shuts up, bro. Uh, 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 just a minute. Uh, journalist is what oh, I use. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah, was I like, oh, I'm an start. independent journalist, and I do journalism things, and I have a podcast. Here's my podcast. And then I uploaded a picture of my identification from the Tribune Tavern at three o'clock in the afternoon. (laughs) And by five, I had a verification on Twitter. That must have been a very precise window. Like they must have looked at like, uh, oh, he's local to Silicon Valley area. Who fucking knows? Whatever. Like it fell into somebody's inbox. And then let me do a ding dong on the flip flop. And next thing you know, I got a blue check. Here's all that matters. We are now in the elite. 
Oh all the other plebs. we have real voices. We all the other else plebs. Has fake voices. All the other dumb. This is an plebs. echo chamber. Ah, chamber. Ah, chamber. Okay. Yeah. Shh. Sure. Wait. Hold on. I, I'm hearing static. Uh, <laughs> something that is not uh, verified. It's from the yeah. chamber. Ah, chamber. Chamber. Please, right. please, please, please. More wine. Uh, uh, we're here <laughs> in the Acropolis. Bri Bryce. Uh, in all, yes. In all seriousness, if if I, if I could snap my fingers and you would have a blue check mark, would you like one? No, I don't want the attention. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, how will they know that the cum tweets are coming from you? Because I'm the only one doing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That tracks. <laughs> you know, <laughs> President Biden could tweet cum and everyone will be like, does Bryce have access hey, to this account? Is that? <laughs> no, Biden would tweet cun. <laughs> <laughs> cun pop was a bad guy. <laughs> what, what about you, Brett? I do not have a verification. Uh, would you like one? Would you like one? Because uh, I'm selling it. No. <laughs> it's at a price. Uh, no. I don't put enough for my, my shitter account, so. Ooh. Oh. So that's the big question, is that uh, now that there is a new management at Twitter. Austin's own. Austin's Austin. own. Uh, Elon Musk. Uh, well, you know, he's about as Austin as Breakfast Tacos and Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Elon Musk. Uh, he does things a little bit differently you know, down here. He's uh, keeping Elon weird he's here in Austin. He's weird. <laughs> well, down on Lady Bird Lake, we all know Austin's own God, Elon. Elon. On Musk. He and Joe Rogan yep. keeping Austin. Uh, yep. God damn it. I'm invested in also, this. I, I would, I, I'm, I'm invested in this being the line when locals came. God damn it. Uh, is, is, uh, uh, so may I, I, can, I can sneak on under it. Uh, uh, welcome to the home of Joe Rogan, Elon Musk, and, and Timothy Jism, <laughs> and Lance Armstrong. <laughs> Uh, are you gonna pay? So that this is, this is the new thing. It was yeah. out. It was out on Elon uh, today. The rumors were that it was gonna be as much as twenty dollars a month. Uh, it, <laughs> and then it, he started it, it has... haggling with Stephen King. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like 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 a uh, 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 somebody in the Tijuana market. He's just like twenty dollars, and Stephen King's like, "Fuck you." He's like, "Okay, eight dollars." <laughs> Which, to be fair, made me a little fucking worried because we were betting a lot on Stephen King sticking the landing. <laughs> yeah, wait, yeah, okay, that's touche. Uh, <laughs> the. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, not a lot of readers. Okay, that's fine. Okay. We know now. No, no, no. I was, I was there. I know you I did. You just yeah, didn't yeah. laugh. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing now. Now I'm laughing. This isn't funny for me. That's how much. That's how hard I had to work to juice it out. <laughs> I'm working here. Mm. Austin's <laughs> own. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I I'm totally captured, right? It's like it, it, it could be a hundred. So you're gonna a pay. Month. I mean, I have to. But I uh, don't. Fuck it. Oh, mm. I mean, mm. fuck right. it. Fuck Le it. Legitimately, let me ask. What's funnier? Because I genuinely believe it's funnier for me to waste money on a stupid fucking a stupid tick on the side of my name. Now, if it becomes lame, if everybody who has a check mark is lame, then I'll definitely get rid of it. Animated but for right one. now, I will definitely pay money for it because it is far funnier than not doing Keep it. Keep that finger up so you can test the breeze. Yeah. That's right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So th there was a brief moment that um, uh, it, it ended the moment that I... Um, uh, got an actual check mark because uh, it wouldn't work with that. But before I had a check mark, I realized that the number of people who follow um, uh, uh, anybody at Revision Three, like yeah. uh, Kevin Rose, uh, it, like that Venn diagram is a perfect circle over people who would follow me. So I realized that I could change my name to Kevin Rose Space and put his picture yeah. on there uh, just for a bit. Now the problem is, is during that brief moment, my handle would have been available for anybody to snipe. But then I even had a plan where two computers or whatever, and I was trying to figure out what I would do to uh, say as Kevin Rose that would cause a, a friendly stir. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but once you get a check mark, if you ever change your handle, uh, you lose your check. Oh yeah yeah yeah. So what I'm saying is, is if if I'm gonna lose the check because I don't pay. 
then I'm gonna impersonate Kevin Rose. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> Kevin. Uh, Bry coin available now. <laughs> uh, all right, so so we're 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 in agreement. We're gonna. Pay. Oh no, no, I'm 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 totally trapped. And also, I do think it would be bad to just charge for it because n not so much for people who have it uh, become illegitimate, but because. Uh, because anybody could spend twenty bucks a month and then create a fraudulent. All these you know, hoi polloi would have to give. Yeah, money. No, no, but, that, but that, that's what that's what he's gonna do. It's, it's gonna be open for everybody. Yeah. Uh, I think they announced it will it will be eight dollars. Wait, well, they, no, they he, literally, he, they, they've no, they've announced yeah, Elon, it. Elon, Elon tweeted some shit that said it was going to be eight dollars. If, if you've watched Elon Musk, he tweets a lot of shit. It doesn't yeah. mean that that's going to be the thing. That is a good picture of what he is thinking right now. Uh, uh, whether or not that will that will eventually be the thing, we'll see. I mean, <laughs> I pay Mailchimp eight hundred plus dollars a month. <laughs> I can that makes you money. Dollars for Twitter that has uh, uh, theoretically a lot. Price more is right. To read. That makes you money, and Twitter actively could end your career at any time. Boy, it really is. It's yeah. like liability. The ride only five tickets. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Come on up. But I'm into it. I don't know, Brad, but I'm, I'm into a risky pattern of behavior in my life right now. I'm not I think I might do heroin. Anyone got heroin? Sure. I'm really into Marvel Snap. I've got. And I don't give a, a fuck who knows it. No, it'll be uh, fun. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me dab a little fent. I, I I I don't feel like Brett's answered the question. Would Would you pay for it? Or? Yeah. No, I would not. What oh. if we paid for it? And you got to be the what most if we special boy in all of Austin. What if we Austin? paid it and one day you woke up, you just Yeah, what had if a we made a stock check? puppet account <laughs> called The Real Brett Weaver <laughs> yeah. and it was verified? Would you take the account or no? I would, I would uh, protest it. I was like, that's what I would do. I'd be like, that's not me. All right. All right. You want to know what? There's only you, one you, way you, to you, settle this. You, you leave your us. driver's license here tonight <laughs> and we'll get back to you. Yeah. Sure. You backed us into a corner. I mean, we're going to mug you. Really? I'm steal your to, wallet. I'm back to uh, how much do I tweet? Uh, really not that much. Maybe you should tweet more. That seems to be a recipe for nothing but like, health, prosperity, and money. It just sounds so exhausting to me. Oh, it's a terrible site. Yeah. It's kind of the worst site. I mean, but yeah. I love it. But, so, but you that's see, why we all give I'm it up. I'm in a toxic right? relationship. That's, with that's it. the problem. I'm an old, and I'm still on Facebook. I would be happy to go someplace else if I thought it was something that people would come along. Let me just, just say this. Don't also, that. do all the effete motherfuckers that are all doing their high-minded, like, ah, oh, please follow me on the following links. I will no longer be on uh -oh. this site. Allow me to put this in some fucking language that all of you understand. Hamilton, yeah. <laughs> you'll be back. <laughs> None of you are fucking leaving. Right. None of you are leaving. It's heroin. Just because you don't like your new dealer doesn't mean that you don't like heroin. You know, you are going to be on that fucking site until you die. That's it. I'm going to Pillow Fort. I want everybody to come with oh, me Jesus. to Pillow Fort. Where, where, what is Pillow uh, Fort? Brett, you've opened a door. <laughs> where... Next stop it. Bring it in for a wall hug. So on Sunday, Sunday there was a big NASCAR race. And it was a NASCAR race. I guess it was like a, 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 a someone who knows the way NASCAR works uh, and it's a really fucked up system will know better. But they were like in the playoffs. and Oh, they, yeah. No, they, they have their like their, their, their chase. Right. right. The, the, the. The, the the chase to win the case. <laughs> That's right. And Sorry, I, up is, here. This, is this like a Matlock thing or what? Uh, what is what is the chase? Uh, the chase is basically like the, it's their playoffs, but they like so only the people that are still qualified. It's like another ranking of how they win that gets them points. Yeah. for the and, playoff and nascar is like inverted like like today's opposite day compared to f1 whereas f1 it's like no no no, we're gonna build a new car it's gonna be precision engineered it's like no what if we leveled the playing field and everybody had garbage mobiles and they raced in those yeah nascar is a little more stock a little more spec versus formula one well, so the so the, the 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 race was on Sunday, and there there was a lot of tension. Uh, the the driver of the number one car, Ross Chastain, he he was behind. He needed to make up a few positions, and it was the final lap of the race. 
I would like to take you over to uh, uh, various angles of this race uh, and the final laps of it. Uh, and and bef before we do this, uh, is there anything we should know about NASCAR in general? Like, I know that, that you're not supposed to crash. It's not Founded a, in 1942. It's not, it's I'll not tell a you demolition this. derby. I'll tell you this. Uh, I have not heard anybody say that they've seen somebody do this move before. Okay. Okay, they, so possibly the first, uh, new move. Let's see how new it is. <laughs> okay. He's won his way into the championship. Let's go get a championship. And the fight for the up, point buddy. right at the line. The one of Chester. Now, you might have missed it here. Yeah. Uh, well, so this is the red there. car there. Is somebody pouting on the on the Wait, no. All right. So he like literally ran his car right up against the wall. He wall rides the motherfucker. He wall rides like a video game. And then after the race, he goes, "Yeah, I used to play NASCAR 2005 on GameCube all the time." And so I thought I would just fucking do that. And then he did it. And then he he did that to get exactly in the right position to get in the playoffs. Oh wait a minute, God. wait a minute. So he actually he actually it worked. It worked. It's not illegal. His car was allowed to finish. There's no problems here, oh, okay. officer. I'm going to assume there's no controversy about this whatsoever. I know that I personally support this move and it sounds great. There isn't. That's the thing. Everybody is like, yeah, I guess you're allowed to do that. <laughs> so that that is not where I thought this was gonna so go. So normally you would not do that because it fucks up your car. Because it would destroy your car if right. you could even do it, because it's protective walls and it's meant to stop you. So, so um, uh, the idea being, uh, uh, rather than go the appropriate speed, that you can turn left oh and and have the wheels not fly yeah. all over the place. That you you thing. rely. On mm -hmm. screwing up the whole side of your car, that's right, just to hold you in the in the in the the roller. So, ring. so he had to go. He, he he had to get a later spot. He had to cross the the finish line later to be in the right place. No, we, we, you can see to... him pass everybody and yeah. and and get a, an awesome finishing position because he's using he's, he hacked the game. And the the car that he just beat Which out is... by like a nose. Uh, was one of the people in contention for that final four spot. It it was oh shit super fucking <laughs> yeah. clutch. Now you saw it. Uh, oh I, wait, okay, so so he just slingshotted through just everything right, yeah. because right on the wall. Seven cars right there because he literally was just riding on the wall. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's a uh, uh, there's some onboards as well. We've got to see some of the onboards because it's it. You hear okay, him. So, so I have to imagine this is, I, first of all, clearly unprecedented, but but yeah. also like the talk of the town, old NASCARville. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, it's it was uh, it was an amazing move. Just the very last second, he manages just to scud ahead of the guy to get into. Okay, so this is the guy. Uh, let me see if I can get the actual. Uh, here we go. Uh, Ross. This, this is the shit from his car. Yeah. Um, uh, by the way, for anybody who's audio only, uh, it's it's your own fault. You should give us your well, full attention at all times. Yeah, you should do that. And also, we're a sports podcast now, yeah. and we <laughs> primarily cover NASCAR. So his his team radio asks him or tells him like, or he asks like, "Hey, I need to make like two or three more spots, right?" And they're like, "Yeah, two more spots." And he's like, "Okay." He just guns it. Right the wall. <laughs> 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 Checkered flag. Nice Check. and easy. Keep it up against the fence there. Keep it up. <laughs> There's a little delay, but then more coming, man. Wow. Talk to me, boys. You made the transfer. You made the transfer, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> that crazy son of a bitch! You did it. He did it. Holy <laughs> shit! Oh, that's that's fucking great. Yeah. NASCAR, man. NASCAR. Uh, that's a fever. That's fantastic. So, given the fact that nobody is upset about this, <laughs> how quickly do they change the way walls are made? Or how many more times do you see this? No, yeah. I, I think it's going to make somebody really fucking it up or fucking people up because they're trying to do it. For, I mean, for that them. seems awfully dangerous to take a fast-moving vehicle. You want to know what else seems awfully dangerous? Yeah. NASCAR. Touche. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Touche. Uh, like, like, so yes, that is the thing. I mean, I don't know, but at that point, you're almost in more of a 
of, of a chance to hit the wall too hard and yeah. like spin out and fuck up everybody and else. Land in the stand. So that is because people have tried to do that wins. before and have ended up crashing into the wall and ruining their race. I mean, that's yeah. that's literally how Dale Hearn, Earnhardt uh, Senior died was just straight up pancake into a wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Patreon.com <laughs> is where you can get all your latest sports <laughs> news, especially if you go to patreon.com yep. slash grade night. Exactly. Uh, uh, hey, uh, this is a classic sports center cadence. Uh, uh, Brian, at patreon.com slash grade night, you can get all sorts of benefits, right? <laughs> That's right, Justin. Out here in the field, people are really fired up over at patreon.com slash great night. People are shooting hoops and kicking balls. Back to you. <laughs> well, it's clear that you don't understand the format of a two anchor sports center, but <laughs> you can understand. That's right, Justin. You oh, can no, understand patreon.com slash great night, yeah. where you can get a custom RSS feed and a bonus episode each and every week. Isn't that right, Brian? <laughs> That's right, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com slash great night. Go over there and give us money. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh yeah a little delay little hey bryce delay. do we have a game we do <laughs> because otherwise i love i love uh time delayed in the field <laughs> Man, we could do that all day well no we've got a game we thankfully don't have to do that all night <laughs> i we've, we're gonna play would you rather bot today hey! Hey, this would is your you first time rather bot would you forget rather bot 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 Bot, would you forget rather bot? Would you rather bot? Would you rather bot bot? Would you rather bot? Would you rather bot bot? Hey, fuck you, AI. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> would you rather bot? <laughs> So there's a uh, there's an account on Twitter, wyr underscore bot, that asks. Uh, every so often, would you rather do Does one that thing or the other? Does that motherfucker have a checkmark? <laughs> it doesn't. Now he, listen to a he, goddamn word he's he saying if he ain't got a checkmark. Unless he has 20 American U.S. dollars. Every month, too. Uh, so uh, they, they put out a little poll. They ask people on Twitter to, to vote in the either-or poll. So I'm going to give you a would you rather. You're going to tell me what you believe was the most popular option in that poll. Easy. We've done this a million times, by the way. <laughs> that's a weird that's no, not, no, like, no, 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 no. For as much as we forget shit that happens on the show, that's a necessary and welcome reminder. Michael Buffer in the middle of welcome. the boxing ring. In this corner. In that corner. They're going to punch it in. We've done this a million times. <laughs> uh, let's get ready to We've done this a million times. <laughs> So, uh, Brian, Justin, uh, Brett, would you like Jake to... Paul fight? I didn't see that. Uh, anyway. uh, probably Jake it's Paul. All, it's all fucking rigged, so it's probably Jake Paul, but anyway. Yeah. Please, go ahead. Uh, Brett, That's would you like to brain fight? I would not, but I would like to take score. All right. Thank you very much for doing so. All right. So I'm going to give you the first one here. Justin, we're going to start with you. Okay. Thank Christ. <laughs> would you rather eat delights or cake sauce? Would you rather eat delights Ooh. Or cake sauce from a friend that we Eat the about. lights. Or cake sauce. Groove is in the hun. Eat delight, the right? lights. Yeah. That's delight, yeah. Or cake Would sauce. Would you rather eat? Mm. <laughs> None of us can think of a song that's well. Good. No, cake sauce. All I can think of is gross shit. Is that like it would be cake like something farts. that somebody would yeah. say? No, it, it'd be like. Eat my cake sauce. Oh, no, no, like, no. Yeah. Okay. Right. Would, you rather, would you rather eat the lights or be well, what, what, what's uh, the lights? reluctantly uh, sat at the eating line, sauce there and cake go. in your tines? The fork yeah. is piercing. Yeah. The lips are up. Yeah. <laughs> your food goes in. You say, what's up? And yeah. Sorry. All right. <laughs> You're right in the wall in an oh, car. No. I like that you abandoned the bit and then came right back to it. <laughs> You can't help it. Yeah, 
<laughs> it's so tempting. Justin, would you rather eat delights or cake sauce? Well, since nobody really knows what delights are, I think yeah. people will, will will be attracted more to cake sauce. You say cake sauce. Cake sauce. All right. Uh, Brian, cake sauce. would oh, you man. rather eat delights or cake Take sauce? Take a little uh, cake sauce for the road. <laughs> I've had you want to get a little? I get, I'd rather have some delight. Jeremy, get a baggie for cake sauce. <laughs> I, I, how how do, how does one eat uh, consume cake sauce? Well, you take it on your fork and you just twirl it around. Wait, no, but it's sauce. It's a liquid. It's a cake sauce, please. <laughs> okay, so it's like thank a cake you, Mister. In a can. Cake sauce. <laughs> <laughs> a cake in a can. Take a little cake or eat a taste. Make little it a little macaroon. sauce. Have you ever had a sauce? Uh, well, yeah, barbecue sauce. <laughs> Have you ever had a cake? <laughs> yeah. I've we had... should be okay, okay? <laughs> I, well, I mean, you understand? No, I, I, uh, it's a cake sauce. Okay. Okay, but but it's a little kick. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a problem? Uh, uh, would you like some cake sauce or no? I I would like to eat. We delights. have two for eat four. Delights. I'd rather eat delights. Okay. I think that's the winning answer. All right, you guys have given separate answers. Justin said cake. Brian said delight. We were looking for. Cake, uh, eat delights. Yeah, <laughs> with eighty-one percent, that's a Brian point. My stage show act. Eat delights. Unscrew. Break it. Oh, eat. Yeah, delights. <laughs> delights. <laughs> oh God. Nice. You said it, not me. Just nice. <laughs> I think you I said like that. No, you. Right. No, I'm you using said admiration. It. Okay, that right. was good. That was just a good <laughs> joke. Next question, Bryce. Brian, we're going to start with you. Would you rather... I still like it. Rocket... <laughs> I'm still thinking about it. I like it. Would you rather rocket cheese or fried meatball, Brian? Wow. Fuck rather... it. Would you rather about is hungry? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody needs a snack. Would you rather rocket cheese, R-O-C-K-E-T cheese, or fried meatball? What do you think uh, Richard Cheese's version of Rocket Man sounds like? It's probably a lot like William Shatner's, I would imagine. Well, no, the thing is cheese. that they—he normally does things that aren't piano-based ballads, right? And then, and then, so, and then so. sings them like piano-based ballads. So, so to do Rocket Man, that would be kind of like the other one was fried fried meatball. Fried, fried meatball. meatball, yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna fry up a meatball and put it in my mouth. You're gonna mouth. Say meatball. Mouth. And meatball. Mouth. Parentheses. Mouth. I got it. M O U F. M O F F. Uh, what? Grand Mouth Tarkin. <laughs> yes. Uh, <clears throat> uh. <laughs> Sorry. An, an only visual bit. It's only. A, all right. Can I play? Like, all right. I'm Audio sorry, listeners, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Audio listeners, this is what just happened. <laughs> I said Grand Mouth Tarkin. Brian immediately fucking like accessed his brain. Grand Mouth Tarkin, thing he thinks of the first time, uh, is in Rogue One. They had such shitty CGI for Grand Mouth Tarkin that he looked robotic. So he just made his arms like Frankenstein and slowly turned his frozen face to me. And I knew immediately what it was. Froze up, started laughing, and that's what's happened. And then I hit pay dirt. And I tapped out and before I even it. said a word. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there yeah. we go. Uh, Justin, would you rather rocket cheese? Fry or... that ball, dog. Fry it up. Ain't no one knows what rocket cheese is. <laughs> oh my god. Rocket cheese. Hey man, I just busted out some rocket cheese. <laughs> Which would you rather hear? Somebody emerging from a root saying, like, uh, like, like, you won't believe the rocket cheese that I just produced. This or... motherfucker talking about rocket cheese. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Uh, President Biden. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's me, President Biden. <laughs> All right, so yeah, uh, 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 it, you uh, might know me from <laughs> BET Comic View. Oh. <laughs> Premium My blend. two episode <laughs> guest in on two two seven. Two two seven. I've been with, around a while with Marla I'm Gibbs. Biden. Yeah, no, of course. Yeah, I'm President Biden. <sighs> uh, thank you, Joe. Uh. All right, we've got your answers here. <laughs> 227 <laughs> is a comedy with Marla Gibbs and yeah. the family. Yeah. Uh, you <laughs> both said meatball, and you both were. 
Correct. Yeah. That's a point for both. Because that shit's just delicious, man. You throw a meatball in a fryer. It's a I fucking mean, plus fun also time. it's like like if it was slow motion cheese, I might be considering it. But like slow rocket cheese, for me. like mm. no, slow that's gonna go straight to my thighs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. I can't unsee it. <laughs> All right, we got another question here. Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. Yeah. Justin, would you rather your only transport must be on foot or by hot oh air balloon? God. Where's Andrew Heaton when you need him? <laughs> you, you, would you rather only transport must be on foot or by hot air balloon? Is this some sort of fucking joke? You really well, it's a comedy joke? show. No, no. We're really trying to fucking joke around here. Would you rather, but I'm not talking to you. Don't take it oh. fucking personal. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying for this bot. I'm just yelling at you. I'm just yelling so at you because I can't AI yell at the bot. Know. The bot's not yeah. real, Bryce. So I apologize. You want to know what? It I is real. Sensitive. It's not a human. It's not a human. Yeah. Do you want me to fucking yell at you, or like do you just want to take this? Like, <laughs> what the fuck's going I'm, on I'm here? I'm very much on Bryce's side. Right? I'm giving yeah, you the yeah. stage. Would you rather? Sorry. <laughs> I got too I got too aggressive. <laughs> what was it that triggered you? I got you? too aggressive. Like, wait, was there something about the well, phrasing? Well, because the premise that... of the joke, is, yeah. the premise of the question, rather, is a fucking joke. Like, obviously, we don't live in a society that walks a lot. We live in a society that fucking would love to be in a hot air balloon. So, I... obviously, this is going to be 98 to 2 because there's going to be a few, you know, those guys. I want to answer something that's not very obvious. It's 150% hot air So balloon. you feel like uh, very few people are thinking about the practical implications about the fact that once you get in a hot air balloon, you just have to trust that the wind is going the right way, and you can't really decide <laughs> where specifically you're going to land. Yes. I think nobody thinks about that. They just think, oh, what do I do every day? Yeah. Go to school. Go to work. Yeah. Would that be better walking or in a hot air balloon? Okay, all right, all yeah. right. You're in middle school. Uh huh. First day, we all agree. You land in a hot air balloon. Yep. Everybody thinks you're very cool. Yeah. Second day, you land in a hot <laughs> air balloon. Yep. People are like, oh, look at that. Third day, you landed a hot air balloon. Are you fucking trying to tell me that if I landed in a hot air balloon, I wouldn't be the most popular kid in school? I think every you day. would for a little every bit, day. and then you would be. No, because everybody's going to want. Everyone's going to want to ride in my hot air balloon. Okay. So now I'm going to be the access point. I'm going to be a gatekeeper let, for a thing that people want. Let me try flipping this on its head. Flip it. <clears throat> Imagine there's Do a little headstand. There's a villain. Cartwheel. There's a literal villain who What's goes to the name? same middle What's school. What's his name? Um, uh, Alfred Schittler. <laughs> and what does he sound like? <laughs> Ah! Oh, well, be ah, careful. Ah, ah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> non so, and what does uh, uh, and what does what does he have to say? Re hot air balloon. <laughs> well, which way do you think he gets? Do it in to... the voice. Do it in the voice. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I had just arrived in AP English. <laughs> Do you think I walked or rode in a hot air balloon? Wait, hold on. Am I in middle school with my hot air balloon still? <laughs> no, weirdly, you're the adult just right. Oh, young. okay. <laughs> you bought me for some reason. I work in a school? Well, God, no. Nobody said you worked there. <laughs> I'm just you, in you a middle school. Way worse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. And suddenly, and this, I've, I've this bumped into who kid, again? Uh, Alfred. Alfred Schittler. Alfred Schittler. <laughs> yes. And he said and he asks you the poignant question of how do you think I got here? Did I did I walk on my my Can stupid you do the voice again? little boy feet oh, or did I soar through the heavens like a god, like an angel, like litter from Poseidon's ghost? <laughs> uh, uh probably the second one cuz you really seem into it. You're a child. I can't really make fun of you. What's your name? <laughs> Alfred A. Dog <laughs> Schittler. And then I just bite my knuckle because I really want to make fun of him. <laughs> but I can't. My mommy packed my lunch. 
Why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I don't know why I'm I here. I had lunchables school. today. I was very good. Do you want to know how good I was? I really. <laughs> this is getting <laughs> uncomfortable. Yeah, really. This is like, this is entering into some weird fucking territory. You Alfred. came to my house. I. Well, I'm not <laughs> at your house. <laughs> We're at your school. I'm almost assuredly here for official business. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's a recess. I don't know if they do recess at that age. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> Brian, the question was... <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather your own? I'm just really glad the people who listen to us from the very beginning are gonna get to see our brains fully melt. <laughs> like they're gonna eventually, they're just gonna be pink liquid that falls out off our earlobes. <laughs> you need to do. You need to apply the AI voice to Adolf uh, Schittler. Yeah, I know Alfred. Alfred, Schittler, excuse sorry. you. <laughs> no, sorry, Alfred Adolf. <laughs> Alfred Adolf. Alfred Adolf Schittler. Yes. Don't ask him how mad that makes him. Brian, would you rather your only transport must be on oh, foot or by balloon, hot air balloon? Sure. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, All right, you both said hot air balloon, and you both were. Incorrect. What? Liars. Fibbers and liars. Internet. Smarter than we thought. 57% said only. And liars. There we go. All right. Uh, Brett, what is the score after three rounds? Hey, thank you for asking. Well, I don't know why I said it that way. Hey, hey. oh. Hey, thank you for asking. Hey, the uh, the points after a very long. Uh, you don't have to do the voice. Levels. Okay, after a very long, <laughs> after a very long-winded Brian talk, uh, we have uh, two points for Brian, one point for Justin. There we go. Great game. All right, we're <laughs> still. And now we go into the essay portion. <laughs> uh, Alfred, no, uh, we're gonna go back to Brian on this one. Brian, you're gonna start us off on this one. Ready. Would you rather have franchise apocalypse or computer <laughs> ham technology? <laughs> okay. Would you rather have franchise apocalypse or computer ham, H-A-M, yep. technology? I mean, and, re- and remember what they did to Oscar Isaac. And Oscar Mayer. <laughs> uh, so uh, computer ham technology makes me think of ham radio, which feels pretty old-fashioned. So I feel like, whereas, man, the salesman in me, like, I, I, I'll wear a, a, a suit tailored to look like a mushroom cloud, and I'll have a, a stick that uh, has plutonium at the end, and I'll be like, step right up, ladies and gentlemen. You, too, could have your own apocalypse um, uh, for all your biological, chemical, nuclear, uh, uh, stabbing. Uh, Damn. <laughs> uh, Firebombing. Uh, I'm going to stop. For, for, for an apocalypse? <laughs> you know what? So everybody dies? Well, yeah. I mean, franchise apocalypse. It's like, yeah. So, so everyone it, dies via stabbing? Well, so that means that the last person who was done stabbing has to stab themselves. Oh, well, my gosh. No, no, no. Uh, that's that service. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's like a dress em up. Uh, like a birthday party thing, uh, yeah. franchise apocalypse. Like some kids are into zombies, some are into Draculas, but now some, you do an into apocalypse robot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but it's I like, guess they, there were probably some kids that were really into The Walking Dead that like they ooh. like took them out to the you know woods to and the shed. Them, yeah, and then <laughs> had them paintball a bunch of actors dressed as zombies. Yeah, I, I think you're selling me. You know what? You should be selling franchise <laughs> apocalypses. Uh, I would like to buy a franchise. You know, you can get a free trip to Mexico if we just give you get one hour to convince you that a franchise uh, apocalypse is right uh, for you. You know what? I'm going to go with computer ham technology. <laughs> All right, Brian's going to go with ham. Justin, what do you say? Franchise apocalypse or computer ham technology? I think the ham. I think I think we're we're looking at computerized ham. You know, this analog <laughs> ham, uh, not good for you. Too many nitrates. Oh. You know, GMOs uh, raises your blood pressure. Computerized ham, the future. 
You know? Now, now what's different? How do you computerize ham? A bored ape's eating it. Oh, <laughs> it's an NFT. Mm-hmm. You said it, not me. Wait, so so what am I actually? I'm not actually buying any ham. You're buying I? computerized ham. Okay, look, uh, I trusted you with my entire family's savings. Yep, and, and it's in good hands. Oh, uh, good hands. Good hands. Yeah. Good <laughs> computerized <laughs> hams. <laughs> okay. These aren't even these aren't even my real hands. <laughs> okay. They're computerized. Right. Uh sorry. In the future, all hams Who's, will be computerized. Who is buying and selling Look these at hams? My fingers. <laughs> aren't they weird? <laughs> Yes, they are. Now, you did this when we first accepted you as the conservator of all of our fa- finances. I'm beginning to... Th- oh, man, that's really neat. Oh, wow. <laughs> and if you had some lights on those fingertips... <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. You know what? Uh, I'll, I'll tell my wife. I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, sweetie, we're getting computerized now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Some more visual bits. Sorry, no, everybody. No, I mean, <laughs> trying to rave dance. You were doing really good at it too. Thank you. All right, you both have said a ham computer ham technology. The internet spoke, and they said they were looking for computer ham technology. Oh my god! I, I, my gut really said uh, franchise apocalypse. I'm, I'm glad I listened to my brain and my turns trusted out, turns advisor. Turns out two things that people like, computers and hams, <laughs> better than two things that people don't like, franchises, franchises and apocalypse. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Good point. Justin, we're going to go back to you on this one. I really did Oscar dirty, though, in that movie. <laughs> or Oscar Meyer. Rest in peace. Same time. Uh, Justin, we're going to go to you on this one. Would you rather be some kind of alien or have an awesome social life? Oh, tough call. <laughs> Tough call. Oh my God. Because I'm raising my kids and I ask them this every night. Yep. I say, I want you to think about this. Would you rather have an awesome social life or be some Some kind kind of of alien? alien. Some all- kind of alien. <laughs> yes, he is. Some kind of alien. Uh I mean, I don't know. I already have one. <laughs> what? I have an awesome social life. Oh. Yeah, but you have to give it up to become some kind of alien. Yeah, you're gonna keep it when you're an alien? Yeah, but then I'd be like maybe I'd be like 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 the man who fell to earth. We'd I'd be now, like Bowie. Okay, but here question. Maybe I'd be like homeboy in Stranger in a Strange Land. Question. You'll have to give up your verified Twitter status because now you'll be some kind of alien. Awesome social life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Justin's going to say social life. Brian, what say you? I don't know. Internet's filled with a lot of weirdos. I feel like they might go for some kind of alien. You're going to say alien? Well, because, yeah. yeah. All right. So imagine that that uh, uh, these incels don't have either. <laughs> okay. I, that's your words. <laughs> yeah. That's why, that's why you have an awesome social life is because you said what again? Say it again. Justin Robert Young. <laughs> Verified on Twitter. Don't make me say who. I, okay. what, what website I want to I want to oh, call no. incels again. Okay. All right. Oh Jesus. All right. Hey, move it right along. All right. Some kind of alien. Some kind of alien. Me, don't make me. You guys have split options. Justin said a social life. Brian said an alien. We were looking for. We were looking for. Have an awesome social life. Sixty-two uh, percent said that. That's mm. a Justin point. You know who has an awesome social life? Who? Ants. Termites. They know they know their their place. <laughs> Serve the queen. Yes. Bees. Bees. Yes. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Pollinate, pollinate. Bring it back to the hive. <laughs> oh, what a great day. I'm feeling very fulfilled. Do I'll nap? Question mark. I don't know if bees sleep. I'll definitely dance. Uh, shake left, shake left. <laughs> North by northwest. 25 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> 300 meters. There is pollen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right. You know, yeah. uh, you talk me into Does that it. seem good? What, uh, uh, for a life? Yeah. I don't know. Good social Brett, life. Would you, would you, would you, you think, you you think other life? bees are like, hey, great job, Doug. You did a great job today. Hey, man, you're doing great. I, I've seen you out there pollinating, shaking your bee tail. You, I, I, I wish I was like you. You're great. Like, you think that happens? The compliments? Uh, do how, ants do that? Uh, I... Way to pick up that shit. There was shit on the ground, and you picked it up. Great job. So instead of pheromones, ants are driven by compliments. I don't know. Do you think they do it? 
Uh, I mean, I think they'd like to. I think they'd appreciate it once in a while if the yeah. queen could literally just even acknowledge their existence instead of just squirting out competitors. I think that's the only reason why they pull, like, the big leaves over, you know, just the same size leaf of everybody else. To, to hang over their head in shame. So they can pull the bigger leaf so they can be like, wow, look at that bigger leaf you're pulling. I didn't think any of us could do that, but you... Pull the bigger leaf. Yeah, no, they, I, they, I'm, they, I'm they, glad they, I picked some kind of alien. They don't give them compliments. <sighs> I, wait, was that a pun? Shit. Yeah. Bryce, next topic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our next one. We're going to start oh, with God Brian God. on this one. Uh, Brian, would you rather the death of news <laughs> or the death of YouTube? Oh. Oh. My goodness. Wow, this is really Let's pitting see. us against each other. Would I? Because we, we, each, we each make our living on one of them. Uh, I think of... We'll be very impartial. This is an impartial, highly educational yep. discussion Ladies between two people. <clears throat> cool and collected. I would like all of you to take a moment to consider how often the news has brought you genuine joy. And now I'd like you to watch this dog on a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> the case rests. Uh, you, uh, I, I wish the death to news. Keep YouTube. All right, Brian's going to say news. Justin, what say you? Would you rather the death of news or the death of YouTube? Misinformation. <laughs> Sadness. Another ad for a Kickstarter you won't back. <laughs> Is there no end to YouTube's cruelty to society? The way that they punish us with their garbage, filling our what, what? children's heads. I didn't interrupt you. <laughs> filling our children's heads with nothing but bile. Isn't it time that we let this burden go, excising this cancer from our body politic so we can focus on what really matters? What? journalist did yesterday <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm talking about the news the way that we can understand the society at large a looking glass into our own world educational enriching and good for you in uh, part of a balanced oh. breakfast the news uh ladies and gentlemen i ask you how many times have you held your breath before opening YouTube? How many times do you hold your breath and wince as you open the news? The case rests again. We're double resting. We're so relaxed. <laughs> so confident. What do you got, news? A uh, crossword puzzle? YouTube has Nazis. <laughs> they love it. And they're there. They're talking about Nazi things. And they say, hey, uh, uh, I'm... Uh, I'm Mr. Nazi, and I uh, look at me. I'm gonna try Folgers coffee. Also, I love Nazi shit. Apparently, uh, Folgers was a four out of ten. Uh, uh, like and subscribe. Next time, I'll show you how to reboot your Mac without having the power button. Oh hello, I'm, I'm, it's me. I haven't rested. <laughs> <laughs> That's just it. It's breaking news. Were you enjoying that YouTube video? Let me interrupt. Here's something sad. I'm not here to report on the, the delight of this a child is the kind, falling. This is the kind of crash bullshit crash. entertainment <laughs> crash. that... Yes, crash. Oh. Like crash television. Yes, that's where YouTube came from. If it bleeds, it leads. That's the YouTube motto. They love showing blood. <laughs> if you want your child looking at a bunch of blood, then go on to YouTube and search for blood. Because they got it there. Not on the news. On the news, we curate and, and, and educate. The, 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 the defense rests oh. again. <laughs> the, Apparently, that's not going to be it for him, though. We're going to we're gonna wake up again. <laughs> the doom. 
<laughs> the news manufactures counterfeit diamonds. Nobody will report on it because the news is a cabal hiding the fact that they make counterfeit diamonds only on YouTube. Follow my YouTube, youtube.com slash counterfeit truth slash diamonds. I feel like I've pushed the YouTube's limit of games. YouTube's got a house made of babies. I didn't want to say it, but it's true. My friend saw it, and he took pictures. It's super weird. They've got baby knobs when you open the doors. Baby and knobs? The, and, and the tub is made of more babies, and small baby giraffes are the toilets. Every really journalist has to it's have their up. ears News. cut off. This is a fact that they know. You can always tell by their waxen fake ears that they they wear in their photos, in their televisions, and when they write articles, it's implied that they have ears. They don't. They all have to cut them off to join the news cabal, which, did I mention, makes counterfeit diamonds. Okay, YouTube this is slogan, you, YouTube slogan is smash that right button. Okay. This, uh, I'm going to step in here as the moderator. This has gone on too long. Uh, so, we've. I'm assuming your answer is our last question, right? <laughs> yeah. This is for <laughs> a, for <laughs> a thousand. You are tied. So oh. they are. Uh, yes, mm? I think so. No, does, yeah. doesn't matter. In, right. this, no. in this question, we're gonna untie. Yeah. Uh, hey, <laughs> hey, there's only one way to settle this, and that's through a YouTube video <laughs> where I give a think piece on whether I believe we're tied or not. Uh, hold on, sorry, as a reporter, I'm reporting right now that this is going to be settled in a YouTube video. That's the value of news, my friend. You got scooped. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 you got me. <laughs> I'm now reporting exclusively that I got him. <laughs> Justin, I'm going to drop your answer of the death of YouTube into our answer hole here. Whoa. How did you see that on a YouTube hey, react hey, video? Hey, Journalist hey, reacts hey, to finding hey, out hey, he won. Hey, 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 59% hey, of hey, audiences hey. said that they would choose the death of YouTube over the death of news. And with a million points, that's Justin Roberts. Hey, hey good job. Good uh, job. Hey, hey, good job. hey, hey. Let's hey, get a handshake. Hey, hey. And oh, oh, no. Oh. Sorry, no, that was just for the TikToks. Let's do it again. All right. Oh, and one more, one more no. angle. And then, uh, uh, I was uh, going in for a third one. This one's for subscribers only. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. If you I'll got... super follow you any day. <laughs> super clap. It's super chat. If you've, got a a... Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got an idea for a game, send it into our email address, e uh, greatnightpod at gmail.com, and join our Discord, discord.greatnight.tv. If you're a patron there, you'll get access to uh, special stuff, uh, all sorts of good stuff. It's all there. Thank you. I'm gonna read. If you like this show, write a letter to the editor so he could throw it away and make up <laughs> something to put in newsprint. <laughs> this shit's too real. I know. <laughs> like all I want to do is this for the next four hours. Oh my god. Uh, hey Brett, no, what do we, we learn tonight? Shit about people. <laughs> fuck you. I'm glad we fucking killed YouTube, but we don't give a fuck. Oh, it never happened. <laughs> Brett, what did we learn? We have learned that Doug Adidas. <laughs> is the creator of the three stripes we've learned that the three stripes are now pee poo and farts and we have also learned that there are many many ways to rest when you are making a point <laughs> That's so true. Girl, let's go. Come on. <laughs> what a journey. Like, oh, you just said that, and I was like, that was a billion night. years ago. Oh, wait. Uh, <laughs> still a great night, though. Uh, yeah, programming note. We are not going to be great night next week. We are going to be great night in the morning. That's right. Uh, so we will be uh, on 11, 11 a.m. Central time. Yeah, noon Eastern, yep. 11 Central. So technically the early afternoon but fuck you whatever uh and then at night when we normally live stream will be our midterm coverage i'll be here jen briney andrew eaton of course brian brushwood and brett weaver yes will be here as well and uh we will be watching the midterm so uh that'll be on my channel justin r young not the regular channel uh but there we go Programming. Yeah. Until then, shine on you, crazy diamonds. Get your news from YouTube. Great. 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 Great.
Night. 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 Landed. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> <laughs>